Hello, here we are in part five of my first look at Sunless Sea, a game which was out last year. Another one of these games of the year, apparently, but anyway, um, there seem to be a lot of those. <laughs> um, I guess they're all in different categories or something, anyway. Um, so I've decided to side with the jolly old rats for arbitrary reasons. So because there was no choice. I couldn't just leave. I had to do something. So, there you go. I wanted to leave, but was not able to. <clears throat> so, Chapter 3, A Rat in the Making. <clears throat> the chief engineer led me to the northern side of, an, of the island, skirting the chicken woods. We passed through a number of what can only be termed checkpoints, as fierce-eyed Rats shouldered their derringers and saluted the chief engineer. Soon we came upon a small colony, smaller than some of the infestations I'd counted in London flats. Perhaps only fifty rashes favour altogether, working diligently to fortify their side of the island. The first thing I noticed was a brilliant light beaming out from a stump of chicken wood about six feet high. It bathed the whole settlement in a clean blue glow and was almost too bright to look at. By its light, I could see several raised mounds of earth suggesting shallow tunnels. An efficient fish fishing operation was set up by the water, an albino rat mending nets while others stabbed sharpened sticks into the waves. Further inland was a barracks, where a sergeant barked drills at a small squadron of fighters. My arrival drew attention, and several rats paused in their work to look at me curiously. "'Welcome to Murinia,' said the chief engineer, voice warm with pride. It's not much to look at now, but it will be once we've rousted the cavies. Take a stroll around while I summon the war council. With that he vanished into one of the mounds and left me to explore. The Rat Star. <clears throat> yeah. An excitable looking rat was peering at it through smoky goggles, twitching her whiskers and making notes on what appeared to be real paper. Blue as a sapphire, but endlessly more brilliant. It's not a star, of course, but really... Well, not really, but try explaining that to the others. The chief engineer doesn't want me working too hard to convince them, says this is better for morale. But just look at it. Look. <clears throat> she offered me her goggles. I managed to work them over just enough of one of my eyes to see the truth of what she was studying. It was scintillac, but unlike any I'd seen before, blue as a sapphire, but more brilliant. Something about the clarity of its colour was tremendously soothing. The chief science officer tittered with pleasure as I handed her goggles back. Those of us who've been to the cavy side of the island and lived to tell of it say that there's plenty of glow there, plenty of bright in the water all around, all round, but nothing like this. We took this from the island's centre, Mount Ararat, only it's not a mountain, of course, any more than this is a star. It's hollow. There's sweet water inside and coral crawling up all the walls of it, but nothing that glows save this. It's ours now, and no one can take it from us. I've visited the barracks. The drill sergeant appeared to be sizing me up. Were the few rats around her really all she had to launch an attack? We were fighting impressive odds. I approached the drill sergeant and went so far as to salute her, which earned me a grunt of satisfaction. The sergeant dismissed her troops and offered me a bit of chickenwood jerky to gnaw on. There's more of us below ground, she explained, but not enough. The cavies are bigger and there's more of them. We're better with weapons, but haven't got the stuff to make them with. Most of us came here as stowaways and brought nothing but food, tools and the fur on our backs. We can fish and we can nibble the chicken woods, but we can't make guns out of trees. <sighs> it's evening here. The cavies came up with their own steamer and we seem to have and seem to have endless supplies. We raid them sometimes, but there's so few of us and we can never hold on to territory gained for long. But that's of no consequence. All we want is to be left in peace to build our republic. 
And the rat star, she added thoughtfully after a moment. Of course, we want that too. <clears throat> I headed down to the beach. Who ever heard of a rat mending a net? Where the green billows played. An albino rat smiled up at me from his mending work, looking dainty and a little shy. Chicken wood floats, especially when it's dried out and sealed, so we're able to paddle out a bit and cast our nets. We come up with all sorts of things, blind fish, crabs, sometimes a chunk of broken tentacle. But the fishing would never be so good without that rat star, he beamed. I think it only draws good fish and keeps the scary ones at bay. I know the chief science officer doesn't believe it, but I do. That light is our livelihood. I finished my explorations. The bells of the war council rang. I was summoned. The chief engineer emerged from underground with a motley assortment of other rats. He introduced them as weapons experts, strategists and field commanders. So you're going to help us beat the cabbies, he said, a hard edge to his voice. But how exactly? I have nothing to offer my advice. We engineered a distraction that the IBs could use to plunder the cabbie's ship and turn the tide in their favour. I had the ship. I had cannons. We could steer her to the southern side of the island and have at those uppity animals. Well, I think... They should fight their own bleeding war, right? <clears throat> I had nothing to offer but my advice. The king took it in desperation, if not in gratitude. A charge! The cavies had the advantage over the rats. To prolong this much longer was a sure path to defeat. I advised them to put everything they had into one desperate assault on the beached ship. Unhappily, they concurred. The sound of gunfire and screams echoed as far away as my ship where the crew and I sat and watched. Few of the rats that marched forward that day returned to the light of their precious rat star. Those that did returned bloody and shaking, yet in triumph. It was as much as they could have hoped for, if hard to call a victory. So, okay... Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. The House of Cavi had fallen. Muriana was triumphant. All that remained were the celebrations and the continuation of our voyage. Oh, how we feasted long into the night. Then I interceded on behalf of the Cavies. <clears throat> they were crushed, defeated, and I could see their spirits broken without the light of the Rat Star to guide them. They needed an advocate. I appealed to the chief engineer's moral fortitude and sense of fair play. Perhaps the cavies suffered the loss of the light from the centre of the island. Perhaps they were only trying to get it back, not steal it from the rats. The chief engineer looked troubled, but shook his head. You fought one battle, Captain, he said gravely. We fought hundreds against them. They're monsters, pure and simple. And the sooner we're rid of them, the better. Rid of them? I saw, by the light of the Sintelac, a dozen rats using the steam pinnacle supplies to build something that looked remarkably like a sausage machine. Hmm... Well, c'est la vie, huh? Let's go. Now, if I recall correctly... Ooh, I can push these away. Okay. Maybe that's a bit better. I can... I was heading back, roughly speaking along here to get to down here somewhere mm -hmm. get some more money or whatever All right launch now I have to get my keys on the fingers on the right buttons and then let's just steer clear of that Ooh, I might have to go through the fog. I'll need the lamp on, I guess. 
The Dubois Maelstrom. Is it Maelstrom? I don't know. I tend to say Maelstrom. Liquor Monkey Crag. Ooh. That thing looks a bit too powerful. I'm not going to waste my gun on that. If I can avoid it. came from or went on one of their albums but there you go. Bink. A black spit of an island far from anywhere anyone would want to go. They will pay 20 echoes for supplies. Not supplies, I, I want to be careful about that. Someone died here far from home long enough ago that their flesh is gone. A visitor by the look of their frog mask. The mask will be worth a bit. The skull would look good on the mantelpiece. And what's this map? All right, let's see. I've lost one supplies, but I've gained 20 echoes, yes. The sisters fight each other, whoosh. Hmm. Well, that's that then, isn't it? No shop, obviously. Let's leave. I think I've seen that rock before. So I'm a little above it, that's good. Well, I'm wanting to find newish places today, so let's. Uh oh, I want to maybe avoid. Pirate Steam Pinnacle. Oh, well. If they're going to fight me... Are they? Maybe I'll just fight them anyway. They've only got 30 strength. Let's do it. Wishes they struck first, eh? Goodies. I 
I now have one, or something, a cache of curiosities. Crates. Fundamental element of cargo. Yes. Gain four supplies. Ha ha. Brilliant. I don't know what this is all about, really. There's obviously a lot in this game that I'm not doing anything much about. <laughs> Alright, but let's just carry on. Oh, bats. Well, don't look. A high risk challenge. No, 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 no. Not at the moment. of money for those three scintillating things. somewhere around here, isn't it? Yeah, if I go straight down, I should find it. Click, come on, click. Hull needs a bit of repairing, doesn't it? Port report while I'm on the way. Might as well have a dinner with one of the ladies. Okay, let's go. Nice to have a little island like that, wouldn't it? Somewhere, somewhere with a decent climate, or not like this place, I suppose. <coughs> no vitamin D down here, unless you eat crab. Nip to 
the shop and sell my stuff. Sells for seventy. Hunter's Keep Gained a fuel, gained five echo. Port Cecil. Gained a fuel, gained a favour. Okay, 30 echo, that was nice. Vendor bite. One fuel, one favour. 10 echo. Ship at Isle, submit as unsubstantiated. Oh, all right. One fuel, a favour, and ten echo. Not bad. Abbey Rock. Oh, station three. Let's go for it. <coughs> this is my colleague, Mr. Villain, of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villain, this good captain's report is here. If you would care to... Yes, the fire is already lit. Let us... There we go. Now only ashes remain, and it might have caused such a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here is your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. <clears throat> I gained one favours. I gained one fuel. And a hundred echo. Ooh. <clears throat> Admiral T Abbey Rock. One fuel. Twenty echo. And another favour. Pigmoat Isle. <coughs> one fuel, one favour, ten echo. The Dark Spectacles, Admiral. No appointment, but apparently I'm to show you in anyway. You're ushered into his office, off Mansion's Pyre. A cramped room with a vast desk. He surveys you across that desk. Ah, yes, the merchant captain of, of who we hear such complicated things. The Admiral will purchase intelligence. he need? Information. <clears throat> Visit a port and we'll be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest and we'll be interested in the, in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well, don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. <clears throat> What's left of it? So I could exchange points of favour for fuel, but I have quite a bit of money or echoes now. I've submitted my port reports already, yes. So what else? Revelatory chart. Let's find out if it's real. I'm in enough echoes to buy a better equipment for your ship. <coughs> Darn right. Passes muster. <clears throat> Usual fee applies. I've gained 250 echo. Whoa. Echo. 
Excellent. Shipyard. My boat needs some repairs, I have to say. Can't quite see where to do that at the moment. But I could do with a ship that can handle forward weapons for a start. This is a basic one. Let's sell it. Again. This is a deck weapon, right? And I have deck, auxiliary and bridge. Okay. This engine is 500. <coughs> this engine power is 800. This is 1000. Mm. This is 1500. Maybe unreliable. I don't have the money for it anyway. Hmm. Well, obviously I'm going to sell that. Deck weapon. Have I got a better one to buy? Forward weapon. I can't use it. Deck weapon. Better. But it uses... Oh yes, that's all right. That's a forward weapon, no use. Forward weapon, no use. Aft weapon. Forward weapon. So I need that one, basically. So let's just sell this. And let's buy the deck weapon for 200, yeah. I would really like to improve the engines, but they are so expensive. Where are they? These are some interesting weapons too. What does that do? That would be 500. Well, if I sold that, I could buy a better engine. <clears throat> I need to make sure, first of all, I have some decent supplies and some fuel. I do, actually. <clears throat> I'm always a bit short of supplies, however. But let's do it. Let's sell my engine. For Ten, for goodness sake. <clears throat> Leave me with almost no money. How am I? Do I now not have enough money to repair the ship? 42. Read the papers. visit the university. What on earth? I've seen this one before, of course.
And we'll call memories. Antiquarian is increasing. 10 echo I've gained. Lost to memory of distant shores. Okay. Gained 10 echo for my story. I've lost my lamentable relic, but I've gained 5 echo. Mm hmm. Oh, one of the Eoliths, yes. Okay. My artifact. Gained a hundred echo, yes, that's more like it. And the rest I don't have. This was expensive last time. Put my ship in dry dock, yeah. Seventy five echo. Or I can use three favours and keep my money. Oh, and twenty five echo. Perfect. What else is there to see in jolly old London? A new recruit? Who could be there? The haunted doctor, the genial magician. Who do I have already? A doctor, yes. A zailer. Do I need one? Not right now. Anything else? I think I've done it, haven't I? Yes. Okay, well I don't have any particular mission now except to go and run around. Maybe I should just go to the shops and buy a few more supplies and fuel just for fun. Um, because it's always a slight worry. 20. Fifteen fuel, fifteen supplies. I was able to get a fair distance, wasn't I? If I exit now and look at my charts, I've actually got quite a bit of exploring done over here. Where shall I go next? Straight out past the salt lines and out here explore this area. I think I will do that. So there are a couple of patches here. Wouldn't hurt to go up there and through that and then off. Yeah. Let's go. Oops, wrong buttons again. Launch and speed it up.
as well get another port report while I'm around. Get dinner with one of the ladies. Ooh, where are the sisters? Hmm. Oh, the headache's cured now, and now I'm invited to lunch. Let's speak to Lucy this time. Oh, I've heard this story, yes. Good. The old chart, where am I going? Oh, here. Or is this where one of those dodgy whirlpools is? down to a clean in it. A clean arc into the Z's chilly darkness. Float there in the quiet until your lungs are bursting, until light blooms behind your eyes. Rise gasping to the prickle of false stars, the shocked faces of your crew. You've brought something with you. I have one extraordinary implication. And seven new terror. Hmm. That's it, okay. Check the charts. I don't want to go too far because this terror is getting a bit dangerously high. I'll probably have to return home and sit in my rooms for a few days to, to calm it down a bit. Keep an eye on this 60. on because it's looking foggy I think. I'll put the lights on. The Fosgene Bleaks.
Is he gonna shoot me? of curiosities a filthy scrap of paper on the day we saw the pillars of Irem they are not what I expected Irem is the place one does not expect that is its nature you have seen it in your dreams yes you who found this page long after my death I knew when I wrote these words that you would read them one day Irem taught me this and now Irem's lesson is all that remains of me that's the stones now first of all I have to do some repairs I can't. So, with a hull of eight, I think I have to return home. Sorry, guys, but let's go. Salt lions, wherever they are, somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, go down through the Fosgene Bleaks and then across. And avoid trouble while I do. But still, it might be nice to look at these things. avoid too much fog as well I think. Put the lights on here. Sorry? Why? Oh shoot.
Walk through streets of buildings trapped in amber, flooded with treacly light. Robbery men, their face tentacles twitching complacently, swirl around you in crowds and give you a wide berth. Something drips from your hands. Not blood, it's pale as milk. A bell tolls. You turn in through an ornate arch and all the lights go out, but not before you see the spined shape throned in a pool at the chamber's heart. Gain five terror, how lovely. Can I get a port report here? Why not? Okay. Now, where are we exactly? There, I think. I don't know where Mount Palmerston is. Let's see who else I can see. Uh, go on then. Somewhere northeast of London. Northeast. East, that's this way. Hmm. Lovely. Merchant Venture, what does he want? I can't do them. Okay. Clathamon's Tattoo Parlour. Increase my iron by two and cure up 25 points of terror. Mirrors, I don't know what it's for. These things require some echoes. So I can have... Cure up 25 points of terror. Iron by two. Fails by two, which I don't have. Or mirrors by two, whatever. Go for that one. Okay. Terror is down somewhat. I can submit my port reports. One fuel, five echo. Twenty-five 
20 echo on one fuel and a favour. Oh, that's it. Put my ship in the dry dock to get it darned fixed. I'll use the Admiralty's favours again. I shall visit my lodgings, read the papers, hooray, I've gained some news, and a lost to terror. Rest as well. Lost another terror, and ten echo. Thing. Oh. Oh. Lost an extraordinary implication right? and gained 250 echo. Ooh. What do these guys want? I don't know, not me. Nothing I can do. I have to find Port Palmerston to the northeast of London somewhere. Reduces my terror. I'm now 18, wary, right. I was fortunate. Who awaits my attention here? Hmm. Increases veils and fuel efficiency, but it costs me 50 echo. All right. Where is this guy? Thanks for the meal and company. No, no wine. It makes me sleepy. Oh yes, I can sleep. Too easily. That's the problem. There's a draught I take nightly to substitute for sleep. It works well enough and keeps me sane and upright. But I wish I could enjoy just one night's sleep, if you could help me. We need a clay man from Polythreme. We'll keep a mirror catch box and we'll need to go to Hunter's Keep. I'll explain when we get there. No, I'm serious. I would owe you a great deal. Mirror catch boxes can be found in the carnate. A clay man and an empty mirror catch box. But not available here. Or there. There. Don't know what the heck I would need these for. Mm. 
maybe I can sell them somewhere if I buy them. If I buy one for 25, maybe. Just to see how they do. That was not much use. Do I drop coffee beans? Let's buy one of them. One of them. Right. And these I have to go to Mount Palmerston. I don't suppose it's visible on my chart. Is it? Oops, not the gazetteer. I want the chart. Somewhere to the northeast of London. Well, that's over here. Can I get up there? I thought that was the edge of the map. And let me just make a note of exactly what I bought, paid for those things while I think about it. 25 and 50. 50 for the coffee and 25. Right. <coughs> I don't want to sell at a loss. Well, on the other hand, I don't want to carry them around forever. Just write it down. <coughs> Let's be meticulous. And that really is a good place to stop part five. And I'll see you in part six. So, can I save it? I guess not. Okay, see you in part six. Let's hope it's saved what I've done, because it's on this funny save mode. Maybe I should just switch to merciful mode and I know where it's saved. Actually. She removes my Invictus token. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to quit either. No, I don't want to quit. Hey, no, I don't want to quit. No, 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 no. <sighs> Let's load the game, see what it did. Maybe I'll have to redo those things. Do I have... Yes, I've got to redo those things. Oh. How strange. Anyway, I'll redo them as best I can remember, and I'll see you in part six. Bye for now.